Hi, my name's Jamie, I'm 16 years old. Hi, I'm Luke, I'm 17 years old. Hi, I'm Kate, I'm 16 years old. I'm Jess, I'm 16 years old. Chillax and Joe Phil. Young people now have the opportunity to interview children's services staff. Here's us interviewing Jess Foster Club participation worker. Why did you want to do this kind of job? I would like to do this job of being a participation work worker because I really enjoy working with young people. Every day is different. I like to um, plan activities with young people. Um, make them realise that they can achieve different things. For example, climbing a 50-foot tower. I had a young person that didn't think she could do it. Um, we attempted the tower four times and in the end she got to the top and rang the bell. I like to help young, young people to learn different skills and to build confidence and self-esteem. What activities will you do with young people? I will do different activities ranging from doing projects and newsletters and also outdoor activities, days out, um, planning events and going to places like Alton Towers, um, going to different scout camps like Kimber Scout Camp. Have you worked with young people before? Tell us about it. I helped to set up a care leavers group called Revolve and I've also helped um, to set up a, a group for younger children between the ages of 8 to 13 um, called Involve and I've also helped people with education as well, young people that didn't think that they'd be able to get into university. Um, I've encouraged them and I've helped them with their applications and I've taken them to college, got them on the college courses and one young person will be graduating this year after I helped her to get into university four years ago. We're outside on the studios in Hanley. This is where the young care leaders group meet once a month. We come down and socialise and plan new projects. If we do loads of activities, let's go inside and have a look. As you can see here, Luke and Jamie are playing on the PlayStation 3. Over here, we have really got the DJ set. As you can see, really, we just people just come in, chill out, and the sofas, and do whatever you what fancy what to do. Let Let's get downstairs. Have a sneaky peek. In the In the you've got Apple Maps, where 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 young people like to download music, make ringtones, and turn to the phone. In, in some, some, in some young people like to jazz and play guitars. This is a really music area. Um, that's it for me from Sonic Studios. If, if you want to get in touch, contact Jess Foster. We know the numbers at the bottom of the screen. I'm here at the Milton Youth Centre in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, they've had thousands of pounds to spend on the Thing. It's making it an exciting place for the young children. Come along, so I'll show you. This thing is being redecorated. It's got its own computer, its own dazzle, and it's got its own cinema. This thing here, we use it for different things, like the Children in Care Council, I'll hand you over to Jazz. Um, children in Care Council, come here once a month. It helps with to improve of children care, people's life and children care. And here we also do, here's all Young People's Awards. Katie, did you win an award? Yeah, I won one last year for doing a voluntary work in the community. And I'll hand you over now to Anna and the boys. Hi, I'm Anna Turney and I'm a Paralympian and one of the athletes working for the Dame Kelly Holmes Legacy Trust that's involved in the National Citizen Service. So I've had the pleasure of working with these group of young people from Stoke and um, we're going to talk a bit about the different residentials that they've done and uh, this community project that they've been working on. 
and this is Jamie. Um, so Jamie, can you tell us a bit about the residential, the first residential in Kimber? Well, we went to Kimber, we were camping for five nights. Uh, so like, we had loads of activities like climbing, shooting, archery, and all that sort of stuff. Sounds fun. Yeah, it was good. What was the best bit of the trail, whole week? Trail, uh, because what we are, what happened is a bit strange. They told us that had a review. We walked halfway down the path. We stuck a blindfold on us, and then chucked us in the middle of the forest. Oh told God. us to grab down to the rope, walked all the way around, and then people were coming behind us, scaring me and everything. Oh my gosh! And you couldn't, you couldn't see at all. Couldn't see whatsoever. Wow, sounds crazy. Yeah. So, what did you eat on the camp? Well, one, well, we had like pasta bacon, all that. We had a kitchen to cook us with all the meals and that, breakfast, dinner, and tea. One night we were sat on the campfire, we had chippy, and then we had marshmallows around the fire and everything. It was good. And how many of you were on the project? There was loads. There was, there was two groups from Stoke, there was one from, there was a couple from Beersland, and then we had loads of one from Wolverhampton. So you've spent your summer meeting loads of new people? Yeah, there was about, say, about 80 people there. Have you made some good friends? Yeah, they were, yeah. So Luke, talk to us about the second residential, which was the community residential. We did activities like wheelchair, basketball, we did a Dragon's Den, where we presented our project that we'd like to do for young people in care from age 13 to 24 year old. So like it's a dropping centre for young people, so they can get to know what to do and so we can help them to achieve what they want to do in life. It was really great to meet Adam Whitehead, the Olympic swimmer. Um, he told us a story about himself and I found it really interesting what he was speaking to us about. So I found yeah. that good. We've been doing a project for three weeks at different locations around Stoke on Trent. And we've been doing projects about videoing and getting young people across Stoke on Trent and Staffordshire. So we're giving them course so basically if they would like to they can come and join our projects and if they want to they can come and join our groups. Thank you for joining us and watching this short programme. If you would like to get involved with any of the projects or activities please contact the numbers below. Bye. Bye. Bye.